Greetings. Welcome to the Everything Old School Podcast with Marquise Marrow, which is Talk to Magazine. And I got one of the legends from Queens. And um, y'all all know about it. There's a movie that Nas made or a documentary that was made not too long ago about the Supreme Team in Queens. So I want you to introduce yourself, brother. My name is Waz McGriff, born and raised in South Jamaica, Queens. Yes, indeed. Now I want tell tell the people what, what crew you was down with, man. What organization, rather? Allegedly, the Supreme Team. Oh, okay, I, I respect that, man. Now tell me, what was what was the Supreme Team about, man? Because you was there. Your last name's McGriff. Your your uncle is Supreme McGriff, right? Yes. Right. So I, I need you. I need you to tell me, man, how did the Supreme Team start grassroots? Because you was there. Um, grassroots, it started out as, you know, people that was just trying to do something productive, you know, um, back in the 70s and the early 80s. We didn't have social media. So um, it wasn't it wasn't easy for anybody to try to find a job, especially a person of color. Mm -hmm. You live inside certain certain neighborhoods, environments. It doesn't matter what city or state. Cause every every state, like um, every city or state, they have a hood. So um, you got to adapt to whatever hood that you live in. You know, um, it was an organized unit, a bunch of five percenters that were just trying to earn a little bit of gold for their own labor. Yeah, that that makes sense. So what what did y'all start? Did y'all start off selling weed or? You went straight um, to Allegedly, um, it was supposed to have been weed and then it moved on to heroin. Mm. So so it was so what it what about crack? Yeah, y'all never touched the crack too tough? Or that was after the heroin? Yeah, allegedly. that was yeah, like that was um, that was after that didn't transpire until like 80, 86. Mm -hmm. 85, 86, and then the pandemic came a little bit later, but when the pandemic had hit real hard, I was already detained. I was incarcerated. Now, now what do you mean by pandemic? And what year? What what pandemic and what year? What do you mean? Um, I had left February of 1987, and I did not get released until February of 2003. I had served 16 years for killing two people. Um. The courts had found me guilty. I dealt with it mm -hmm. and came home. No, but the crack pandemic had hit hard after after when I was arrested. It didn't really it didn't really like succumb to um, every borough in New York until 87, 88, 89. Mm -hmm. I was arrested. I was arrested February 87. So I wasn't really there for the height of it. I was there when it first was like first coming out because it was actually free based before it was crack. Mm. Now you said pandemic. Do you mean epidemic? No, you um, said it was. Yeah, pandemic so, because because okay. the epidemic had caused the pandemic. You know because mm. you know because it's actually sad. You know when mothers get addicted. And they got to sell a baby food to milk the pampers. They got to sell a body. They got to sell a soul that they're trying to do some. Fathers, boyfriends, husbands, the ones that was caught up, they wasn't able to provide because they was trying to take care of their own little habit. They wasn't worried about, you know, trying to feed their kids and their wife. They in the street doing whatever it was that they got to do so they could get the next one. Mm hmm so, so you said you did eighteen joints for two bodies. Sixteen, sixteen. 16? So yeah. you you kind of you kind of got over then for sixteen. No, um, it was, Tell us about no, the um, body. It was actually, it was actually it was actually a typographical error that the um that the court stenographer had made because the judge had sentenced me you know to concurrent sentences, but the stenographer had wrote down consecutive. So because of just that one simple word, and for anybody that ever catch a case, go to the law library and try to research, research everything that you can. Don't worry about what your private lawyer, public defender, 18B, you got to do your own homework because like some people, they'll notice something, but they won't tell you. 
It was just that one word that I was able able to get my time reduced. The original sentence, you know, when they had told me consecutive, so it was like 25 for one body, 15 for another body, to the life of the paraphernalia that was allegedly there, running wild with a two to six for having on a bulletproof baseball hat and a bulletproof jacket. 25 and 15 is 40. You add another 10, that's 50. You add the two to six, that'd be 52 years of the life. But because of the typo, they gave me the lowest maximum, which was going to be 10 years of the life for the um, project, the product that was allegedly there. A different amount of 10 years of the life, I ended up doing 16. Oh, that's deep. Nope. So, 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 so tell, tell us about the reason why you went, if you, know, if you don't mind getting into detail. You know how that went. No, down. I mean, um, I'm past it. You know, um, mm -hmm. you know, um, I was hustling. I had asked somebody to assist me and putting and putting some things together. The person that normally assists me said that it was too much for them and put me on. Like, I'm trying to put me on to somebody else. I told that person, I don't, I don't want to meet nobody else. If I'm dealing with you, then I deal with you. Go ahead and get it done, and I'll come back and see you later. Then when I came back to see the person later. The person who they was trying to put me on to, seeing that I was just a young kid, it was like, I'm not giving you back nothing in the conversation. Because if you let somebody take something from you right now, somebody going to take something from you every day when you come outside. And then if you are working with, for, or under somebody else, they don't want to hear that somebody took that. Right, right. Somebody How old had you? held you? Was, um, I, was, I was 19 at the time. Mm-hmm. I was getting ready to turn 20 that summer. Uh, hey. And what about the second one? Um, the second oh, one never made it to court to testify. Oh, okay. Because you said you had two, so. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Because yeah, I, I had to go back for the second one because the second one was the one that I actually gave the stuff to. And they gave it to the first one. So since the mm. first one didn't want to give it back, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. So being that um, I had gave it directly to the second one, you know, you can't ask somebody to come to the courtroom. Right. And I can talk about mm -hmm. it now because I served my time. So it isn't like they could try to lock me up for something different. You paid your dues. Mm -hmm.